Hi everybody, Samson Lamb here again today to present you P3, which is automatic zippers for coats. For what purposes does it serve? Actually, over the weekend, I was at the mall with my girlfriend, and I observed a man having a very difficult time putting on his winter jacket. From what I saw, he had an amputated arm and lost most of his fingers on the other hand. After seeing this, I kind of felt like an obligation to help people with special needs and disabilities and begin pondering on how to do it. After doing some research on the internet, I found several websites that sold clothes catering to people with special needs and disabilities. There is one that offered advice on what to look for in clothes to make dressing up a lot easier. With all these websites, there seems to be a huge marketplace for special clothing catering to the needs of every type of person. One website even quoted, maintain your dignity and independence. However, I found this kind of an unfair marketing slogan since people do not need to be taunted to be emotionally blackmailed into buying their product. The websites for special clothing. There is one called Silver Adaptive Clothing and Footwear. Easy access products, and this is the website that actually stated to maintain your dignity and independence. And clothing solutions for disabled people. Automatic zipper. There's a patent out there for an automatic zipper. However, it still requires a person to do work in order for the zipper to move. It is an elastic band or strap that is attached to the zipper and the other ends are attached to a waistband. This concept can only be applied to pants and shorts, so coats on the other hand have a much longer zipper and this pattern becomes inapplicable. I do not see this concept as automatic since these days automatic devices do not require a person to do any more work than they have to. For example, revolving doors, you walk up to it and it just starts operating. Soap and towel dispensers, water faucets, you just stick your hand under it and it starts working. Elevators and escalators. And I think it has come to a point where a majority of us have stopped using stairs because of these two recent uh, technology developments. So my idea is to have a fully automatic zipper by using electromagnetic powers, um, which will automatically zip up and down when either activated through a push button or an optional more expensive voice activated version. For the automatic zipper, since it will operate with an electromagnetic current, um, I'll explain the theory of it a little more. This will work by changing the polarity of the magnets as the zipper goes up or down through the zipper track. The zipper itself will be the magnet, while the track will be the alternating poles for the magnet. Since the length of the jacket is usually longer, the zipper will slow down and start to lose magnetic force during the middle of the coat. To fix this problem, there will be another alternating polarity magnet placed in the middle of this, which will prevent this from happening. Now some of you are wondering, how does this device will be powered? It is simple. With the technologies that we possess today, installing a wafer-thin battery encased in a waterproof membrane is easily doable. If we can fit a screen, a battery, and a 60 gig hard drive into an iPod, I believe we can stick a battery into a jacket. There will be a solar panel on the shoulder pads of the jacket to ensure the battery is charged at all times, or an optional plug-in if you want. The solar panel and the battery will be easy to incorporate since they both use direct current voltage, which is a type of electricity that we use on most electronic items while the zipper will require alternating current voltage since it has an electromagnetic force. Fixing these issues will be easy since all that is required is installing a silicone controlled rectifier. As shown in the picture right there, actually the size of that SDR could be equivalent to the size of your pinky. And that concludes my presentation for today, and here are my sources. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at samsonlam at wamail.com.
Thank you very much.